Hello the people universe, this is the Hoovian Wizard and welcome back to another video. And today in this video, as you can see, we are once again inside of Minecraft communities as we so often are. So yeah, let's get straight to it then. So today we are building something a little bit different, but first as always, jump off here we go, there we go. I've accidentally morphed uh, two sentences into one there, that was pretty cool. Well I wasn't because I sort of like turned one word into another. I don't know. But yeah, so as always we jumped off there. Uh, but today we're building something a little bit weird to be honest. Um, so yeah, let me explain it to you when we get there. First we're going to feed the dogs and choose one of them to join us. So this is of course little tea. As you can see they have had a steak restock or meat restock. Uh, for those of them that don't eat steak, pork chop is another popular one. Um, so nope, I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> um, then Lello, you can have a cooked chicken. And Rosie, you can have a cooked rabbit. So yes, um, I think today we are going to take Lello with us. Hello Lello, let's go. Uh, so today we're building once again in the town. Um, we're building something very different from all these things. Well, it's sort of similar to that in the theme, but what it's actually going to be is very different. Um, and in between this episode and the last episode, I have finished off the interior of, um, this place. And I think there's a zombie inside this theatre. I don't really want to... Yeah, I think it's... Oh. How... How did you what? What the hell's through here? I think that's just a redstone at the back. I think that was supposed to be a secret thing. You didn't go and attack them though, so good dog. Um, so yeah, nothing's really changed around here except for this has now got a roof. Uh, I called it Bips and Bits and Bob's Shop. Uh, it's not owned by someone called Bob. It's owned by me. So this is what I have done. Uh, so there's water inside of here. You can't really see it very well. But I still think it looks sort of cool. You can just about see the textures moving around in it. Uh, I might end up changing it to light blue maybe. Uh, maybe that will make you see it a little bit better. Um, but I've just added a white um, thing to the top. And I couldn't add a handle um, to the side of it. Um, to the side of the Rubik's Cube. Because then it would take up way too much room. And yeah, I didn't want to take up that much room with this thing. Um... So yeah, this is pretty much it completed. I didn't really add anything uh, since the last episode, except for obviously that and the roof. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. <coughs> so Lelo, you can stand up and follow me. And we are building right next door. So as you can see, like if we were adding the handle, then it would have to come all the way over here. And it would just take a little bit of space. Um, so today I haven't actually got any um, marking out here areas because it's very simple. Uh, as you can see, there is a little bit of redstone involved. But trust me, it is incredibly simple redstone. Um, so the whole point of this place then, so hang on. So space, block, and then this. Okay. So uh, it needs to be 8 by 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6. Six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Nope, I need to go and get, grab the rest of it. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And actually, now I need to build this all one to the uh, to the other side, don't I? Okay. Um. So let's just go and build this in here. So we're building an Oreo. <laughs> and that may seem a little bit odd. But I was looking through what I've built already in my sketchbook world. Looking for any ideas of anything that I might have mentioned in those videos. And then Disco Oreo came to mind. I remembered that we built the Disco Oreo doghouse. And I was like, a Disco Oreo sounds really cool. So I've sort of done it in a different way this time. It's not going to be called the Disco Oreo though because that's the name of the doghouse. Um, but we're doing it. So it's going to be like a normal Oreo. And 
yeah but then you go in it's going to be all cramped and stuff and it's going to sell chocolate which is good but it's going to be all cramped um and it's not going to be the greatest thing in the world and then you pull a secret lever that just looks like any other thing in the shop and then it opens up a thing behind the counter and you go down into a disco room and the way we're going to do the disco i'm actually quite happy with it, it took me a while to sort of figure it out i've had this idea in my mind for quite a while um but it took a um it, it uh, took a little bit of uh, a while to actually figure out how it would work um but yeah i think that it actually works really well uh, it lags a bit i will be honest so this probably isn't something that you'd want to do on a, a last gen console or a not very good pc or anything uh but i think for ps4 it lags a tiny bit but it's bearable uh, so as always, I was going to leave a two block gap in between this, but then I would have to build a two blocks that way. And I couldn't really be bothered to change it again. And I think it looks fine. So this is like, sort of the middle bit, the white bit. And then this here, uh, we're going to go around um, just doing the uh, actual biscuit part of it. So obviously, um, we've got the different colour brown on the inside. That was just so then it looks a bit different looks a bit nicer on the inside because if it's this all the way around because this is actually black terracotta and it doesn't look that good uh in excess i don't think but i think it's perfect for an oreo which is something that i never thought i would say that black terracotta is perfect for an oreo um but hey there we go this video is breaking new landmarks and i don't actually think i have enough i think i wildly underestimated this I don't actually have enough. Before this video, I was, I was thinking like, uh, how much do I need to get? Probably not that much. So I only got that, and then it turns out I was wildly wrong. So yeah, in here, it's going to look like this, and I think that'll look quite nice. Um, it's going to be quite cramped in here. Uh, that's sort of the whole point of it. So it'll look nice from the outside, so then it just doesn't look really ugly uh, compared to the rest of the town. Uh, and this actually gives you sort of a bit of an impression of how the landscape used to look over here. Uh, and like, yeah, you can sort of see like, uh, this took a while to uh, put everything on top of this. And like, obviously, this terrain is relatively flat at the moment. Like, if we uh, come up here, this terrain is relatively flat. Like, obviously, you've got that bit up there. Then you've got this over here. Uh, but obviously you need that because like if every building let's say the base of it is probably going to be average about the same as this obviously some stuff's bigger some stuff's smaller um then yeah like you're going to need a big area for it um so obviously like stuff like the farm is also on a higher level and i'm thinking of having like some more uh like higher level stuff over here uh, maybe or even sort of utilizing this little mound thing here and extending this out a bit further and then I'll see uh, eventually it'll all also go um, the, all this area that's owned by Laurie obviously and then all this area will be the town and there's a dog here which dog is this is this mine it is are you Chris yeah I think this is Chris <laughs> Hello, Chris. I keep finding you everywhere. Um, that's a bit odd, I will admit. Um, but yeah, hi, Chris. Um, so, yeah, this is sort of like where it's going to go down to. I'm going to leave this area here all natural. Um, and I'm going to change all this area so the beach here is going to be a lot bigger because I don't like how this is all just grass. Uh, so all this area is probably going to stay the same uh, leading into that area. But then the town... This area is underneath there. I could probably build like something with the basement under there or something. That would probably be good. Uh, but all of that area over there is going to be the town as well. So yeah, like when I first built all of this, I was like, this will last me for quite a while. And it's going to last me for quite a while. Like, fair enough. It's been like 30 episodes and we've barely um, even filled up like a half of it. But we are getting there. Like, look at this. Like, you can like take a screenshot from above and see that it's become like um, a proper town. 
um, like with all these different things and the giant Rubik's Cube. Like here, this looks a bit like a proper town or like maybe if you do like this maybe i don't know no because then you got that over there but yeah it looks it's looking quite nice it's all coming together and i quite like it to be honest um so what we're going to do is we're going to make some spruce we're just going to sort of fill in this floor as we go along uh once again i was going to use oak but then i thought that's like a bit too bland and that's why i sort of carry on with the oreo sort of style and uh oreos are sort of dark wee brownie color and to be honest i don't actually like oreos that much i just google searched oreo and that like i'm just sort of basing it off for one of the first things that come up so yeah it's pretty uh odd but this is one of those ones where i didn't like i'm not looking at any screenshots for this because it's so easy to remember like you could build this in like this i could build this in like the old community like over there and it wouldn't stand out because it's just a small thing like sort of the size of everything else in that community and yeah i think that's just quite a nice little thing to have like if you want to sort of start building your uh, like a city similar to the one that i'm doing then obviously you don't start with something like the clock tower uh start with something small like or even something like the floor door something that i had to look for ages before i found someone that had done a similar thing to me with the floor door and like the milk attic and stuff so yeah i'm pretty happy with that actually like stuff like the clock tower people have built clock towers before i'm not saying that that's an original idea um i think the taste of cakey bakery was a pretty good idea um and my uh shoulder's just broken actually um it's a little bit of annoyance but oh yeah i've got the spare one because this one was breaking haven't i uh from when we were building the rubik's cube uh so let's go and yoink this before it falls all the way down there and yeah it'll be pretty fancy also another thing that i wanted to mention i'm not gonna make like an entire special video about this uh but i am trying to sort of go back to like the three videos maybe four videos a week sort of style that i was doing for quite a while unturned doesn't really work uh i just wasn't passionate enough about the series I uh, sort of lost interest after a little bit, uh, just because Unturned's a fun game to play with friends, and I thought doing a series on it would be just as good. Uh, but obviously you can't do stuff in the same way that I can in communities with it. Uh, like, I couldn't be building like this Oreo thing in it. Um, so I'm going to revive that series at some point, but I'm going to... Like, I'm getting a new uh, computer at some point anyway, because this one works, and it can run Unturned at just under 60, but it can't run unturned and a video recorder recording unturned at 60. So yeah, I need to get like a better computer for that. But like, yeah, it, it still works. <laughs> like I use it for rendering videos and that still works and stuff. Uh, but what did I come here to make? A door, that's the thing. Um, there we go. Two doors, actually, well, you make three. Which is a little bit annoying, but hey, there we go. And yeah, this is looking pretty good. So like, the actual ceiling is only going to be two blocks high, so you're not going to be able to jump or anything. Uh, and that'll just sort of add to the sort of cramped look for it, hopefully. Um, so let's build the counter. So it's going to be a two thing counter, because it's going to have like a little computer on here. Uh, which is also going to be made out of white concrete. And uh, do I have any smooth stone in the chest or not? Um, no, I do not. So for now, what I will do is just make a standard wooden one. That should be fine. Uh, where are they? Um, they'll be in the mechanisms. Mechanisms, not mechanisms. Uh, there we go. Actually, I didn't even need to use a crafting table for that. But hey, there we go. And yeah, so the lever is going to be there. So it's just going to look like it's part of the computer or something. So then we need to go there. We need to go there. 
And this is going to be a really tricky thing to place, actually, isn't it? So let's go and get this piston. Um, and let's just hope that I can... I can uh, place it like that. Um, and then we just need to break this away. Uh, put this there. Put this over here. And then go and grab the lever from the chest. Uh, just like so. And it can go there. And boom. Now the floor is solid. And I nearly just fell down there, didn't I? Um, so, yeah, this is looking pretty nice, actually. I can hear a slime. Is it under the ground? I think it is. Let's have a look. <laughs> Yeah, there's a slime under the ground. Can I shoot it? It's a real question. Oh, I can. No, I'll, I'll leave it be. I'll leave it be. I'll leave it be. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty much the bulk of the exterior done now. Uh, obviously, I need some more black terracotta. Uh, but I think for now, I should be fine. And then in the underneath section, which, you know what? Let's start building that now. So, we've got like a couple of minutes like uh, to just finish off doing this thing. We're not going to get it all done today. I'll do a second video building this. Uh, we also need some ladders. And they are, of course, there. Six should probably do. Uh, we might need a few more, a few less. I don't know. Um, let's grab the sword out ready. And... Let's see whether anything is in the area. There's a slime. Um, what's through? What's th oh, that's part of the Rubik's cube, I assume. Um, yeah, that's got to be the Rubik's cube, hasn't it? Yeah. Um. So yeah, let's uh bring this down here. So I haven't really put too much thought into how this is going to be i know how it's going to work and stuff and how the redstone's going to work and i know there's a slime coming after me now there's two slimes coming after me now there's loads of baby slimes coming after me oh these are only the baby ones oh but they're pushing me you're, you're bad go away <laughs> uh how much slime do we get from that seven slime that's quite useful actually um so we need to go and place, 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 like so. Then we need to go up. Oh, nope, that's not how you do it. <laughs> um, then you need to go up. There we go. And I'll replace this as well while we're here, uh, just to make it slightly easier. And then what we're going to have to do is slightly complicated this is sort of going into the redstone sort of area of it um but the redstone is so unbelievably simple but it creates such a nice effect um so let's do it so i think i'm gonna have to chisel away at some of this actually uh because i think it's gonna start getting in the way in a minute um I'll sort this terrain out uh, in between videos anyway. Um, so yeah, what we need to do is destroy this. Oh yeah, uh, I've got to mention the name of this place as well. Um, the name of this place is going to be Chock Horror. And so know when like someone tells you something and then it's like, Shock Horror, I never knew that sort of thing. Yeah, well, Chock Horror is because obviously this chocolate place and it's going to be, they're going to be like, Oi, do you know there's a thing down there? There's a secret party room down there. And then they'll be like, Chuck Horror? I didn't know that. Get it? It's a funny joke. It's wasted. <laughs> um, so yeah, what we need to do is we just need to make sort of like a loop in the middle. Uh, like so. I was originally planning to have the ladder... Uh, in the middle of the room, but then it sort of like distorts. Ah, <laughs> um, it sort of like distorts the uh, lighting effects a little bit. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have to dig away at some more of this. 
should be fine though. Uh, nothing too tricky. Uh, it does require a fair amount of space actually, I will admit that. Um, so we just need... this is going to be exactly enough in this direction. Uh, but we might as well just give ourselves a little bit more room. Uh, just to sort of make it easier for the future. Uh, so let's just go along like that. This video might be a little bit of a longer video because I just want to get sort of this laid out. Um, so two, three, and then we'll just destroy this layer here. Um, and then one, two, three, and then in this direction, one, two, three. And then we're going to do the same with some dirt at our side on this. Um, so you're just going to do one, uh, two, and three. And then we're going to destroy some of this. And yeah, that's pretty good. And then we'll go one... We'll have the exact right amount, actually, I think. Uh, one, two, uh, three. Yeah, I think we will have the exact right amount of uh, redstone lamps for this. That is incredibly satisfying. Uh, yeah, we will. This is great. Um, and then just go three there. And finally, we do one, two, three. And boom! We have completed the lighting pattern on the floor. So yeah, like it's going to be a little bit of an odd um, thing to like actually do, but it's going to be really fun once it's done. Uh, so the way that this is going to work is it's going to be um, observers pointing downwards, and then I'm going to build a big layer underneath this. And it's going to be like... Um, yeah, it's going to be like um, water. So there's going to be a redstone clock that's going to be making water squirt out of there. There's going to be a dispenser there. And then it's going to trickle water all the way around here. So the light's going to pulse from the middle. And uh, it should pulse back in again when it clicks again. And then the water starts disappearing. So yeah, it should be really cool. I've tested it before. It works. It is a little bit laggy because obviously it's water, redstone clocks and everything. Uh, but yeah, it really works really well. Uh, so yeah, let's not end the video in this weird dark cave thing. Uh, let's end the video upstairs. So yeah, uh, I thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I want to give a thank you to Lelo for joining me. <laughs> um, and I want to thank you all for watching. So yeah, the next video will be up next week. Uh, where we shall be continuing to... Uh, build this and hopefully we'll be finishing off the party room and this already looks quite nice uh, obviously we need to finish off the roof a little bit i'll do that in between video next video just want to be purely right about the redstone part of it but yeah it is so so simple it's not like um with when we were doing this and it took ages to figure out and everything and there are more zombies inside there that's incredibly frustrating uh yeah it will literally be like a case of it might be a little bit tricky to figure out but we'll get there so yeah <coughs> i thank you for watching uh the, the next video will be linked in the description once it is online and goodbye